When I got back to painting several years ago, after many years of doing other things, um, I did start to look at the world um, that was interesting to me as a painter. The timing was such that I was fairly well ensconced in a new body of work, which I had started calling Puddle Architecture um, as a way to speak to the way I was seeing the world through 2020. And uh, as I was starting this body of work, um, it, it occurred to me that it was in response perhaps to uh, the way we were experiencing our lives through the pandemic, where our worlds were getting smaller. And so we were experiencing the small worlds in very macroscopic ways, um, at least for me, um, paying attention to nuance and detail in ways, uh, both through my life and the way I was living my life, but also in my artwork through the way I was looking at nature. I paint out in the landscape, I uh, go, and I paint in the studio. I work with acrylics on canvas. Uh, in 2020 found me doing um, acrylic ink and acrylic paint together on paper, and that was new for me. And also, I often take a sketch pad of uh, markers. I use Faber-Castell and Copic markers, which have sort of a watercolor effect. And these are very gestural drawings that I do primarily from life, but also sometimes just a, sort of an automatic, uh, free, dreamlike response to uh, memory and things like that. The Pond Run is uh, uh, right off of East State Street in Hamilton. Uh, there's uh, a familiar sight for people who live in this area, which is a bunch of trees that are just standing in water. And uh, I stopped there one day, I think it was January of last year, and did this little painting of the trees just with their wet feet on the water. And uh, again, that's a, a little floody area off of the, the stream called Pond Run. And so when it's really wet, it's very flooded, and other times it dries out a little bit. What I do when I go to, um, to new lands to explore different ways the water looks and the landscape look is really I'm drawn to expressions of water, not so much expressions of water, but um, I, I find landforms and water uh, containment that speak to the sort of metaphors that engage me. One of the things that happened in 2020 is that my palette uh, was boosted uh, for these blue, for vibrancy uh, that I discovered when I discovered working with acrylic ink, which is extremely vivid. And I found uh, just absolutely a, a lot of joy working with, especially as I introduced warmer tones to them. Using my subject as a way, an excuse to play <laughs> with uh, and to express gesture uh, to convey a narrative. So I was interested in the way was, the space was broken up and the color and the energy and all that. And, uh, but I was not yet divorcing myself from that sense of landscape, you know? And, uh, and so this painting was the one where I let go completely and said, uh, what I'm interested in is a mark making and, and expressing a sense of, of, of nature and, and the landscape, but I don't think it's necessary for it to, um, to be a format that's traditional. It, you know, it really, really, really started here. I was in a parking lot in Princeton, and it was a muddy parking lot at the side of, a, um, uh, at the, side of the canal, actually. And uh, it, because it was muddy, because it had rained, there were puddles everywhere, and there were tire treads going in and out of these puddles and the trees from above were the green because it was summer was reflecting down into that water and i found that if if uh if i looked closely enough at it i could see this sort of vibrance of green vibrating against the oranges of the mud and uh the that energy and of the treads coming into those waterways and then back out again was just, it, it made me laugh a little bit. I, I found humor in it and poetry in it and all of that. And so uh, in this case, I really just wanted to speak to this, this crisscrossing of, of parallel lines that were jagged because it was tire tracks coming into the puddle. 
and, and I didn't feel I needed to paint the puddle in its entirety because that isn't what interested me. What interested me was this sort of uh, migration in and out and this disturbance of that water uh, by those tr tire tracks. Sometimes I'll, I'll see what a painting, uh, what the result is, and, um, and make sure through editing um, that, that the story's coming through clear. Uh, it's a beautiful thing when it comes through clearly at the beginning when you're on site, but that's not always the case. In the last year, uh, as I've included uh, continuing to make these plein air paintings of the landscape and, in, and begun to include uh, more sort of automatic drawing and, and inventive painting through works on paper, and then translated that more and more to the canvas, um, the, the whole puddle architecture uh, theme, uh, for me, it speaks to a moment of reflection, and, I, and, and not so much literally as wa the water reflecting the sky, or, or a shadow that lays across it revealing what's below that reflection, you know? Uh, and those layers uh, as they're sort of, as I peel them back for you. Um, my work isn't really so much about the puddles as it is about um, the metaphors that I find. It can be discussed or, or, um, or discovered through those. When you start talking about, um, you know, what you can see and what you, what you hide and what, what you reveal as individuals. I think as, as I was drawn to water, and, and this has been throughout my career, the making of beautiful artwork is almost a secondary thing to that journey. It's a necessary result of my journey because I identify myself as a working artist. And uh, so uh, I take great joy in finding new ways to express my interest through works on paper and in increasingly larger canvases and things like that. And thank goodness for my, my collecting public because um, being able to sell work helps keep me going uh, in that endeavor. But speaking to the puddles, you know, I, I actually touched on this earlier with the biggest painting, that sense of falling in and the painting pushing you back up again. I think that um, getting lost in whatever it is that interests you in, in your life um, is a tremendous opportunity and you would hope that you can't you don't get lost entirely <laughs> you you want to be able to lift up out of it too and take another breath and see the wider world and provide context and that's why i continue to do work uh plein air and continue to look to um you know responding to life uh, but the dive in where i'm inventing now based on memory and just relying on on my increasing knowledge of paint, moving paint around, that's, that's still new enough that I'm, um, I'm awed by it still and uh, intrigued by it and confused by it and all of those things. And I suppose on some level, uh, those things are what keep me inquisitive. So maybe uh, this ex exhibition will provide a viewer the chance to to both step back and see a wider world uh, in a new way, and also maybe trust me to take them deep, <laughs> deep into my shallow water, and then push them back up again safely. And uh, maybe that's the best thing to say. <laughs>